Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on highlighting empty text box fields on a user form in Microsoft Excel. So to illustrate how to do this, I'm using a workbook that I've constructed before in another video titled Adding Data to an Excel Worksheet Using Text Box Controls on a User Form. So this is the same workbook from that video. So I have here two user forms, one that does what we want to, which is to highlight empty fields, and one that doesn't, and I'm going to show you how to make the changes so that the second one does what the first one does. So let's first take a look at the functionality of the complete user form, which I've titled main form. This allows you to add data to a worksheet in this case first name, last name, and a score for each participant in this data set. So say you want to add the name John Smith and a score of 85. You could do that and then it would cycle to the next row. It sets focus back on this first name field and then you continue on. So with this user form does that the uh, original one did not is it highlights fields that are left empty. Whether they're left empty accidentally or on purpose is, well, that's dependent on the user but either way it highlights them so the user can make the determination whether they want to enter the data or continue the way it is. So say in this example a first name was skipped and the user went to the second name and entered a value and pressed enter on the keyboard, you can see it comes up, form is not complete, do you want to continue, which it originally did, but the field is also highlighted red. So if the user wants to continue, uh, meaning they meant to do this on purpose, they just click yes and enters the data in just as it normally would. Now let's do a similar example, we'll just skip the last name. Now if the user selects no, and notice the field still highlighted in red, user selects no, they can go back in and populate the missing data and it'll come up on the Excel worksheet. So that's the completed user form and this is the one that does not highlight the fields in red. So I'm going to click Alt F11 go to the code view and you can see this is the user form that we want to work on. I'm just going to close the other one. So if we go into the original code behind the command button you can see here is the code that evaluates if data is missing from text box 1, 2, and 3 and then poses that question to the user if the form is not complete. So what we want to do here is we want to change the color before we get to this if statement. So we're going to create some space here and I'm going to add some code that will evaluate whether the text box has data in it and then change the color if it does not. So if text box one value equals nothing then it's text box one dot back color equals VB red. And then of course I always want to end if so now if text box 1 is empty, it'll change the back color to red. So what I'll do with this is just copy and paste this two more times for the other two uh, controls and make sure you do change the uh, text box 1 to 2 and then the 1 to 3. So what this will do now is before 
This will execute before the message box. It'll change the fields to red if they're empty. So this allows the user to, whether they're going to select yes or no, before that point, to see which fields are, are empty because they're highlighted in red. Now what this also does though is since it's now changed to red you have to have something to you have to have code that changes it back to white. So at the end here you can see we have the call for the reset form which brings the values back to nothing and sets the focus back on the uh, first text box. So just right in here before this code runs, it's going to reset the text box one back color to white, which is VB white. And just like I did up here with these statements, I'm just going to copy this and paste it and change this to two and change this to three. So just by adding these lines of code up here in the correct place and here, now it functions the way that the uh, first user form functions, the way we want it to function. So if we move back to what I had here in the, the uh, Excel worksheet, if we open this user form and say we forget to put in the score, so we enter the participant's name, we forget the score, you can see it highlights in reds. So in this case uh, I want to uh, correct it so I don't want to continue so I click no and I add the score, hit enter, and see it resets it to white and puts the data in. And of course similarly uh, let's say we skip the first name, we put in a score but say we don't have the first name, so when this comes up, we can still see that uh, there was no data put in that field. We click yes, it's going to reset it to white, set the focus, and it's going to put the data in without the first name. So this is just a practical feature so that users can quickly identify uh, which field or fields were not populated. Now, when you only have three fields, as I have in this example, it's not too difficult to see which one doesn't have data in it or which ones don't have data in them. But when you're working with a larger user form that might have 10 or 15 fields, it's nice to have the back color of the field change to red so the user can spot it easily. I hope you found this video on highlighting empty text fields on user forms in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.